Hello and welcome to our mesh attachments tutorial. In this tutorial we will create a simple dress, by using the Avastar character as template model, together with a shrink wrap modifier. Note that this tutorial only covers modeling. If you want to know more about weighting and rigging, then please advance to the follow-up tutorial, namely the weight paint survival kit. So, let us first create the basic character model. We have added a template for your convenience, and this template creates an already textured Avastar model. You get it from, File, Open Template, Avastar Textured. However, if you do not have Avastar installed, then you can use the character from the Avatar Workbench as a replacement. Now for the dress. I will use a simple cylinder here, and I define the shape by using the shrink wrap modifier. Go to Object Mode, then create a new mesh cylinder. This cylinder comes along with two caps. These caps are made out of faces with more than four edges, also named, N-Gons. But we do not want these caps here, so let us delete them. We can do this in the Operator panel by disabling the creation of the caps. Or we can simply select the faces and then press X to delete them by hand. Well, here is our dress prototype, and in the next step we will align it roughly to the character. Please ensure that all vertices of the cylinder keep outside of the character mesh, and do not worry about the shape. We will take care of that in a moment. Just in case you forgot about it, you can select an entire edge loop by holding down the ALT key, then press the right mouse button. Now it's time to get some form into this item. Go to the Object Modifiers tab. And from there, add a shrink wrap modifier. Change the mode from nearest surface point to project. This works much better for our purpose than the default settings. We also need to specify to which target we want to shrink the object. Apparently we will use the upper body mesh here. Still nothing happens? That's because the default setting is not to shrink but to expand. So, enable negative shrink direction. And in order to better see what happens, enable also the triangle icon in the modifier header. And now you see immediately how the modifier modifies the mesh. But hold on, we need to shrink wrap the lower part of the dress to the legs, and not to the upper body. Fortunately the modifier allows us to add a second shrink wrap target the auxiliary target. So we select the lower body mesh here. But now we immediately run into a problem. The modifier finds no target faces in between the legs, so it simply does nothing in this area, and the mesh gets odd. But fortunately there is a rescue available. We remember that the Avastar character also contains a skirt mesh, and we can use this as shrink wrap target, instead of the lower body mesh. So, let's simply change the auxiliary target to the skirt mesh. But note that the Avastar skirt mesh does not need to be visible to make this work. However, let me make the Avastar skirt visible for a moment, so that we can verify that the lower border of the dress indeed matches up with the skirt template. But actually I prefer to keep the skirt template invisible. So let us hide it again. Also let me quickly add a material here, so that we can better see what's going on. Now let us get back to the shape. This dress still does not look pretty, and we have to do something here to change that, so let us create some additional edge loops. But let me first open the Mesh Info tool. There, you can monitor the mesh statistic, while you modify your mesh. We have added a mesh calculator which tries to guess some estimate from the statistic data. Actually we try to estimate reasonable levels of detail, and calculate the most probable download costs. But be aware, 
This is by no means a precise tool. However it gives you a very rough idea about how heavy your mesh will become later in second life. So, back to shrink wrap. You can add an edge loop by pressing Ctrl R, then move the mouse over the mesh. The purple line indicates where the loop will be placed. You also can use the middle mouse roll button to add more than one loop at once. And after you clicked on the left mouse button, you still have the option to adjust the exact placement of the loops by dragging the mouse. And a second left mouse click terminates the edge loop tool. We can see how nicely the shrink wrap modifier projects the vertices to the upper body and the skirt, so the dress shape is created almost automatically. But please keep an eye on the mesh info panel. Check your download costs frequently to avoid getting surprised when you later import your mesh to Second Life, and see high land impacts. And here is one of the most important hints for reducing the download costs dramatically, and also get your mesh much smoother than it is right now. So, at the moment the dress looks faceted and you can spot every single face. You might be tempted to add many more loops and use much smaller faces to get the mesh smoother. But that is absolutely not needed. All you actually need to do, is to go to object mode, and enable smooth shading for your mesh. As you can see in the mesh info box this setting reduces your vertex count dramatically, and as you can see in the viewport, your mesh now looks much smoother. So what do you want more than getting better results and pay even less for it? Okay, let us keep smooth shading turned on, and go back to our base mesh. Well, that still looks a bit odd. But hold on, remember that we can change the dress shape of the Avastar character? You find the shape sliders in the Avastar object properties section. Locate the skirt controllers, and set both controllers to your taste. Now the shrink wrap modifier magically influences our own mesh, according to the changes of the Avastar skirt shape. Okay, that starts looking promising, but let me do some additional fine adjustments here for apparent reasons. Well, for now this looks good enough to me. However, let us take care of one final issue before we come to the end. We see the base character mesh poking through our dress. Actually you may want to avoid this problem and make the character mesh invisible, by using an alpha mask. But we also can use the shrink wrap modifier again for our rescue. Here we can set an offset, which lets our mesh hover above the shrink wrap target. So let us do this for a quick fix. By the way, we even can use a weight map to control the influence of the shrink wrap modifier. But we will keep this method aside for a later tutorial. So, our basic dress model is finished by now. If you want to know how this model can be rigged and weighted, then please advance to the follow-up tutorial, the Weight Paint Survival Kit. Have a nice day, and thank you for watching.